everybody and welcome back to another episode of Haas Down to Survival Today, we're concerned, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully you guys are having an absolutely fan for fantastic day of the most amazing Friday. That only gets more fan for fantastic from here on out. Today, we got a little something I wanted to make sure to bring up and towards y'all's direction. And that is, boom, a little bit of a look at this because I feel like this is something that has been a little bit forgotten and something that especially with the roadmap and some of the news that we have recently gotten, something I wanted to bring up and specifically let y'all know to start stockpiling these items right here have these truck wheels on tap because they are not just going to be used for assembling a zombie truck by the looks of it and from some of the stuff we're going to be breaking down today they are going to be quintessential in the settler slash outpost update to get your second base known as this outpost up and running star what in tarnation are you talking about why would these truck wheels be necessary well as you guys can see we do have our pickup truck over here that is missing a few very essential things like most of anything that makes it look like a functioning pickup truck but especially the thing that all vehicles need something known as functioning wheels and if we actually take a look at this screenshot of the fully repaired pickup truck that was teased a while back in addition to how these truck wheels look very much so in line with what we are seeing over there and the fact that they look like they would be the perfect candidates for bringing the pickup truck back to life but what are you talking about star the pickup truck isn't repairable it's just a glorified chest at the moment that is true but boom i want you guys to go ahead and take a look at this over here this is a look at what a potential outpost will be looking like with all sorts of facilities scattered around it lots of different things that we have broken down through a multitude of multitude of different videos because in case you guys are not aware the outpost is pretty much going to be a old rundown military base that we somehow come across and are able to start repairing and bringing back to prosperity and it will serve as some sort of a second base in another location not where our original home base is but the big thing i want to bring to your guys attention is that pickup truck you can see at the very bottom of this image and the little like a hut that it has hanging over it this is is another location that we see the pickup truck make an appearance so it appears that this pickup truck not only will somehow be repairable but it's also having some sort of a connection to the outpost by the looks of it and that is actually very true because boom this is another image from a little bit back that actually details a little bit of information where it can actually be read because near the bottom it does get a little bit blurry but long story short some of the details that this does bring about is that the pickup truck is pretty much going to serve as a method of transferring large quantities of items between our two bases one base being the outpost and the other one being our original home base that we are currently chilling in but if we actually do start to look into the kind of lower areas of this little screenshot with all this information where it does start to get a little bit blurry we can make out a couple of key things including in the bottom left hand corner of this little image you can see to repair a pickup quote unquote level 15 is required making it seem like there is going to be some sort of a level requirement not a very high one by the looks of it but there will be some sort of a level requirement necessary to ultimately repair this pickup truck which is then going to lead you to the outpost which is actually an interesting sign for that outpost update which in case you guys are not aware is likely to be the second big content update we get this summer because they have said that there are two huge single player updates coming our way the first of which according to the roadmap is going to be this secret update which from a lot of context clues and teasers that Kafir has been dropping does appear to be an ATV update that will also be added in swamp zones and a whole variety of other things like a wrecked ship a corgi dog some sort of a new motorcycle potentially with a boss incorporated but then that second big update we can expect is going to be the settlers update which subsequently has to do with the outpost that we are talking about here so it's definitely gonna be something big and definitely something coming soon and that's kind of like the general timeline and stuff they did say to expect it this summer summer is gonna last for like another two months or so and we do know that the atv swamp one is likely coming first so this one is gonna be a little bit more down the line but there's definitely some big deductions to be taken away from it, and that's exactly what we are doing here and it is good to know that it does not appear like this is gonna be a super end game type of thing having an establishing and kind of keeping up with this outpost it looks like all you need is like level 15 to realistically start getting it underway it's not like this is gonna be 
super insane end game where you need lots of loot and potentially like as is currently like the atv for example is gonna need 200 engine parts might be subject to change but as of right now atv is gonna be expensive but this outpost does appear like it's gonna be a bit more in line with something most people should have access to relatively early on and once we do continue looking at the bottom area over there we can see that once level 15 is acquired it appears like they're gonna give you some sort of a screen that actually looks very similar if you guys follow me over here it looks kind of similar to something like this like the atv or like the chopper i already built the chopper so i can't show it off or like the gunsmith bench where it is one of these kind of like once you place something you have the ability to like it's like kind of like a level two repair where like you have after you like build something so for example after we built this atv the initial atv and placed it we then get this screen this pop-up for kind of like a second round of repairs we have to do it appears that the pickup truck will have something similar going around with it because we can also see through that sketch that it appears like they have that finalized button at the bottom as well meaning that it is going to be something that doesn't just magically come repaired it's something we have to repair by ourselves and given what we have seen with a lot of vehicles wheels are a very common thing when it does come to vehicles our chopper required them our atv required them and obviously as you guys are looking at this pickup truck the pickup truck's gonna need a new set of wheels and from what we are seeing from that screenshot showing off what a fully repaired pickup truck would look like and what we are seeing in our inventory over here with these truck wheels that currently have literally no use except for assembling the zombie truck but the zombie truck it honestly looks like the zombie truck that we see over here is going to morph into the pickup truck because this zombie truck says it allows you to build a truck to set up other bases on the map we have not seen any truck like this being teased but we have seen this pickup truck and we've seen its super obvious connection to the outpost and being a huge 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 vehicle in allowing us to transport large quantities of goods between our two bases meaning that i mean these wheels would technically be going towards something very similar to a zombie truck not a zombie truck in a name or in image but from the description surrounding all of this stuff it appears that that is the type of vehicle that the truck wheels would be going towards is something that have to do with outposts and setting up more bases and from what we are seeing here the pickup truck fits that description very well so definitely some stuff i want to make sure to go ahead and bring up to you guys and gals regarding this pickup truck because dude it just it's been littering up our base just being all broken down for the longest time and being able to see this and especially now that we do know that this big boy of an update the settler slash outpost update is on the horizon i definitely want to make sure to clue you guys in on what to expect out of the pickup truck especially with some of the more recent developments and recent information coming out and just obviously the good news that it appears that outposts are going to be not a super end game type of thing but rather something that most players should have access to and can start messing around with because like dude building a second base that seems like it'd be pretty crazy but uh by the looks of it you just need level 15 and you might be popping off and hello we got a strange event we could go to color me intrigued batman maybe we'll make a pit stop over there after we go into the farm because today is a farm type of day it's been a minute since we cleared out the farmyard and uh well we're gonna be going to the farm we got quite a big arsenal of weaponry to help us in our quest and we're gonna do what we can to bring down the farmers and steal their corn i have intel that bjorn the corn that is right the mythical bjorn the corn the viking corn on the cob of mythical legend is held hostage over here so we're gonna do what we can to save bjorn the corn if there even is corn on this farm this might be the totally wrong farm that we're looking for but intel tells me that bjorn the corn is here so we're gonna do everything in our power to try and rescue him but before we do dive into this farm like i'm saying hopefully you guys did enjoy some of this information regarding the pickup truck and the big big thing i wanted to do with it and why i wanted to drop it is because i wanted to kind of put out this psa that like yo have some zombie truck wheels saved and ready to go i would recommend try to have four zombie truck wheels in your storage throughout your base somewhere just 
because, I mean, that truck that we have appears to be missing four wheels. It's going to be pretty quintessential in building the Outpost Settler update. So a big thing that it appears you can do to be ready for that update when it does come around is that you have at least four wheels, probably some engine parts and other jazz like that that we might need to repair it in addition to like ball bearings and other things like that. So just want to make sure to clue y'all and loop y'all in on that because it is definitely looking like some interessante stuff. And dude, especially the thing I'm hoping for is if, oh my God, dude, this man is dancing like a mad lad. But the big thing that I personally am hoping for is that we might actually be able to physically drive the pickup truck around. That would be a dream come true. Don't get me wrong. I'd love to just have the ability to use it to like transfer large amounts of loot between my two bases, but being able to potentially drive it around a little bit and probably the fact that I'm just saying, Compare the pickup truck to what we are seeing in our chopper over here. God dang it, I did not mean to get on top of you. But compared uh, to how big our chopper is and the eight slots of storage it grants us, that pickup truck would probably be able to hold quite a little bit of things inside of it. And I also want to make sure to go ahead and give y'all a little bit of a PSA that we are doing a huge giveaway over at Buzzkill Esports, our esports organization. We are doing a huge giveaway of multiple hundred dollars worth of prizes going to a lucky winner. Link to that will be at the very tippity top of the description. Make sure to head on over there. Follow Buzzkill on our socials to stay in the loop for when we do, 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 uh, do, do more giveaways and all of the awesome esports stuff that we do have going on all sorts of awesome content that we have going on of our stream teams content creators all sorts of oh back it up rotate the uncles all sorts of types of jazz like that and obviously like i'm saying head on over to the giveaway and start entering on in because we got some super awesome prizes one lucky vina will be getting this multiple hundred dollars i think it's like 450 british pounds worth of no do not try to punch the savage giant 450 ish worth of like uh whatchamacallit in 450 ish British pounds worth of stuff, which would translate to, I think, like 500, maybe $600 worth of prizes, which is some insanity. So best of luck to you guys and gals in that. Go and get them entries in, like I'm saying, through that link at the very top of the description. God dang it, why did I shoot the ball? This is an L that we have taken. I totally forgot that you are not supposed to shoot the bull because he is totally pointless. I don't think he ever drops anything good. He is just kind of a douche canoe. So back it up, in fact, bull. I am not interested in what you are selling, comrade. But uh, what I am interested in is your guys' thoughts on that pickup truck in that comment section down below. What do you think we might need to repair it? What type of a role do you think it will play? Any and all that type of jazz in addition to if you guys think we might be able to actually like, drive it around and that type of stuff and you know what else you think it might require for us to repair and in general how hype you guys are for the pickup truck and just outpost slash settler update in general because dude it's gonna be so crazy to have like ai settlers helping us out in our quest and whatever that we are doing and helping us out at this outpost which is literally going to serve as a second base that is just some oh hello charcoal that is just some absolute insanity that i cannot wait to dive into ourselves so like i'm saying let me know anything and everything that y'all got to say about it in that comment section down below and a reminder that that comment is gonna put you one third of the way it's the wiggy trial at your touch place store gift card giveaway all you gotta do as well is make sure that like button make sure make sure you're subscribed that will enter you in on today's video y'all can go ahead and enter in on every single last day on earth video when saturday rolls around we'll pick a random video for the past week pick a random comment from that random video and that will be the winner for the week and we'll kick off a new weekly giveaway that exact same saturday as well so make sure you stay tuned with that notification bell it to stay up to date with every single video y'all can enter in on for that weekly giveaway not to mention all the other dopes around games going up on the channel as well that it does help you stay in the loop on because in case you guys have not already definitely give some of the other survival games going up on the channel a look whether it be an existing series that you just haven't tuned into yet or a brand new survival game going up for the very first time make sure to give them a look because we are always checking out the most fan freaking fantastic the newest of survival games mobile survival games free survival games you freaking name it we're going the whole nine yards with this chance because we are survival game fanatics and if you guys like last day on earth there's a very good chance you will be liking some of these other survival games going up on the channel as well so much so that you guys might find a series that you just like start keeping up with because you like it so much or even you guys might find a video about a game that you like so much where you download this game and start playing it yourself so like i'm saying if you guys like last day on earth as much as i do there's a great chance you will be enjoying some of the other stuff going up as well so give them a look whether it be an existing series already going up or a new survival game going up for the first time i think that you will enjoy friends and comrades of my not to mention that that notification bell is a great a great way of staying up to date with all the latest and greatest of last day on earth information as well as soon as i 
but new info does come out about the game. We are spreading it to you guys and gals, eyes and ears, absolutely ASAP, making sure you guys are staying in the loop regarding, hold on, gotta spread a little bit of vitamin P, don't mind me, just, just peeing on this massive oversized pole, no it's not pole, it's a silo, well it's a silo of vitamin P, now god dang it, I smell bad, I do, I should have peed it, oh but that notification bell is a great way to stay up to date with all the latest, ugh, latest and greatest of last day on earth information. As soon as they tap into info does come out about the game, we are spreading it to y'all's eyes and ears on the Lickety Split and keep you guys in the loop with what is going on in last day on earth, what is coming to the future of last day on earth, any and all that type of jazz, what to expect out of future updates, what new features might be coming in those future updates, what to expect out of these new features, new locations, new enemies, all of that type of jazz. And we are always, whenever new information does come out, connecting it with information that has already been released released to give us the clearest look at the future of last day on earth what to expect out of it when to expect these updates all that type of jazz and of course not only are we keeping you guys in the loop on the updates but as soon as oh please don't notice me ravager okay i don't think he noticed us i saw him wandering i was like no 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 i'm not ready to deal with you yet comrade i'm dealing with your savage giant comrades your savage colleague over here your colleague unfortunately must die but not just that we keep you guys oh hello ravager if you could just walk on by that'd be highly appreciated not trying to deal with you but not just that we keep you guys in the loop with all new things coming to last day on earth as soon as we do learn about them and deduce things about them but we are also as soon as any type of new update does come out checking it out on the lickety split and showing off every single little thing that it does have to offer that these new updates do bring new locations new enemies do anything you name it doesn't matter how hard it is doesn't matter how much guns are yo let's bring Get it go! We got some shotgun raid, baby! That's what I'm talking about. Okay, I'm sorry. Was not expecting a shotgun from the farm. I think the farm's trying to convince me to come here more often. Farm, you may have convinced me. If anyone ever gives me a full durability shotgun, you literally have won over my heart almost instantaneously. That is probably that's the quickest way to a pop the star's heart. Some full durability shotgun rain, because holy guacamole. I, 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 I love, I love, I just, I, I'm so happy right now. I don't know what to do. What I do know is that we got to deal with this Ravager fella over here. So we're going to put four things away and strip naked. Star, where's this going? Hold up. It'll make sense. I swear, because you never want to deal with the Ravager. This is the Ravager, right? Yeah. You never want to deal with the Ravager with clothes on because, well, he's a little bit annoying if he manages to land some spit on you. So what you want to do is play a little bit of ring around the rosy. We'll hit him with the slow-mo stab over there, but you want to wait for him to start spitting. Once he starts, oh no. Okay, I was supposed to dodge that. All right, you know what? Let's just pretend that that never happened. I definitely, li listen. Oh, you might be like, Star, that was the dumbest thing I've ever seen you do. And you know what? You are probably pretty close to being right. However, there was a method to the dumbness, okay? There was a method to the madness. The reason that we did that is because the Ravager spits. Not only is it extremely lethal, as y'all just saw, but uh, it does very bad things to armor. So I've actually just brought some armor that I didn't want. I didn't want to lose my SWAT armor, man, because it will eat away at the durability of your armor. So I'm coming back pantsless the best way to come back. And we're going to get a little bit of vengeance and uh, not die right away to the Ravager. I probably should have been more expecting that. He kind of threw me off. I wasn't expecting him to freaking throw that spit out so quickly. I thought I'd have like a second to avoid it. I guess not. But long story short, we a want to go and get our stuff back and b want to be a bit more prepared for that spit because as you guys saw very lethal very lethal spit but uh it is even worse for your armor like it will take out i think 25 30 percent of your armor in one go definitely not ideal so mr ravager can i please go back and get my stuff okay marvelous that's what i'm talking about <laughs> not my brightest moment to say the least okay let's equip that take all that we can um, let me reorganize my inventory a little bit. You know what? I could get a little bit of... I just don't want to, like, accidentally have them pop up and me not expect it because that might be pretty bad, especially out of nowhere. I'll just put some... I'll put a couple of things away here and grab the more valuables for the moment. All right! It's time to get some vengeance on this douche canoe. How dare he try and do that to me? All right. I got my machete. Mr. Ravager, I challenge you. Do it, duel! Oh, yo, Ravager, come back here. I'm not trying to, like, fight you on your turf. I think if we run away, he might start running after us. And it, yeah, there we go. If we get him into a run, I think it means he's about to spit. So, yeah, yeet! Let's check it out. Once he's in spitting mode, it's marvelous because he keeps on spitting. This is your opportunity 
to be able to just juke the bejesus out of him. And especially with this one machete that we're using, you can actually slow down how quickly he attacks. Oh no. Yeah, you can literally, like, it slows down the speed of his attacks, which gives you, like, even longer. We can, look, look, we're, blah. look, we're pretty much managing to get off three hits every single time. And we just continue dodging him and he's not doing a lick of damage to us, which is the way that it ought to be. Let's continue juking a little bit. Hit him with the slow-mo because that is what that active skill does do. I believe it de decreases their attack speed by an entire 20%, which is a pretty solid deal because it also means that he spits slower. And as you guys are seeing, it's leading to some pretty solid results. Let's continue juking a little bit. Get you with one more stab. Get you with a little bit of that and chainsaw the man in half. Death to the Ravager. You didn't drop any big bones. I'm very disappointed in you, Ravager. Death to the Ravager! Hey! was vengeance baby that's what she that's what you get for doing mean things to me i am not very appreciative of what you tried doing but all right now we got the rest of the farm that we got to take out as we were saying before we were rudely interrupted and or murdered maybe both so let's get back to clearing these dudes out let's just watch out for that uh oh my goodness gracious there's a lot of enemies over that way which means prime time for my compadre shotgun rain to make a triumphant appearance as a wise man once said shotgun rain oh dear mama that's gonna be a lot of damage coming away by kaplui no no kaplui right now just uh kalashnikov 47 ie there you go death to the giants bless up for the shotgun rain which did a good chunk of damage to him, and we've pretty much cleared out this pen, because in the farm, it's pretty much split up into four pens, so to speak, which are those fenced-in areas, and within each pen slash fenced-in area, there's a chance of different things appearing, whether it be, like, configurations of zombies, raiders, all that type of jazz, you do have a different chance of running across different things, and I really hope that this bull doesn't run across us as we try and bring this little crate to the end of the farm and cash in on its juicy delicious loot. But with those new updates coming in the future, we are always checking out all the new things that they do bring. Does not matter how hard they are to do. Does not matter how much loot of ours it, we have to blow through. All that type of jazz we're showing off ASAP so you guys know what to expect out of these new updates, what to expect out of new locations, how hard new enemies might be, what might be the best ways of tackling any new bosses, what is even worth killing. It's what is worth left living from the loot that you get from it all that type of jazz we're keeping y'all in the loop on so uh, make sure to stay tuned with that notification bell hit for all of them wonderful reasons that we do have going on and especially man with that atv swamp update coming soon we build an atv asap outpost update we repaired our pickup truck asap and go into our outpost and with however the outpost ends up working because it does appear that it's going to be an army base we repair not necessarily one we like where we build everything but it appears that there will be structures already like existing that we just have to like work on repairing and hello savage giant i kill you is this cool okay cool beans bro glad we came to agreement on that but we're gonna be repairing everything that we can on the asaps and dude just trying to have the best time humanly imaginable with this stuff because there's a lot of cool things yo what's up raiders back it up bro Back it up. He's got a gun. Oh, did we just get a gun out of this? Oh, let's freaking go. Another aspect I love about the farm. Sometimes you get jumped by people with guns. It's usually not something that people love. But when you have even better guns and then you steal the guns that they try jumping you with, it's a very lovable thing. So I'm I'm, I'm pretty happy. I'm, I'm pretty zadovolon of what is going on here. But okay. Let's go and get a couple more kills off into the... Oh, baby, let's go and get... Granata! Marvelous! That will help us out by doing some damage to some of these schmucks. Back it up, rotten yokels. I don't never want to see your faces again. They are too foggly for me. And we will see what we got within the sack. And then I think we have every pen cleared out, so it'll be time. Ooh, baby, baby. Oak logs and that. I will leave behind these nuts for a little bit of aluminium. I can't wait to bring that pupper back home, dude. That's another thing that I love about the farm. That's what I love about a lot of these locations, man. They do have, like, they all play very, very set roles, so to speak, where they all excel in certain aspects. And the farm's an awesome place to come for trying to find dogs, getting a chance at finding, uh, what should we call it, a chopper gas tank, because at the end you can't get a chopper gas tank. Looting up this crate that we have at the end that's definitely about to net us some pretty good goods if you ask me And I just got to make sure that we got some good guns ready to go because a lot of enemies will come here You can even get a couple of oak logs like you guys saw we managed to get a shotgun rain out of this like all in all Farms are pretty nifty place and I love the role that it plays especially because you can 
actually get melee weapon mods out of this crate over here like relatively consistently so pretty good stuff all in all and like i'm saying you can get chopper parts if that door decides to open so come on wakey wakey eggs and banky open up open up it's the police open up rotten yokels no i don't care about you guys you are too easy Come on, bro. Okay, I'm missing. How am I missing? I literally have the gun inside of his mouth. Oh, dear mama. We got a little bit of shotgun raid to spread a little bit of back the bejesus up. Because we got some enemies we got to kill. Oh, no, 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 no. You do not want to get hit by three savage giants at a time. They do enough firepower to the point where they will probably kill you in one fell swoop. And yeah, yeet a kiss. Ha <laughs> ha. Get yeeted, bruh. And then we'll just go and hit him with one more blast of shotgun rain. They all survived. That's not what I like to see. Come on. Can y'all die a little bit faster? I'd appreciate your cooperation. And we got another dog. I love this place. I wish we could find uh, freaking huskies out of here, though. I do not think huskies are available in the farm loot pool, unfortunately. But I guess we got to make do. And without further ado, let's see what we got within the farm chest. And woo! This is what I'm talking about. Like I was saying, you usually get a melee weapon mod out of here. You don't, you can't really find gun mods here to my knowledge, but you do get a melee weapon mod as you guys are seeing here. We've got a little bit of gun, some pretty solid full durability armor, actually a hammer too, which is always good for melee weapon mods and building them up, but I got to leave something behind. Mm. For now, I will prioritize some of the things that I, I'm always going to prioritize guns and stuff like that. I will put away some of the things I have a lot of at home, like, for example, the wires and pick up some other things. I got plenty of aluminum wire at home, too. But let's see what the chopper over here does have and inside of the chopper. No whammy, no whammy, no whammy. Prussia barzo, prussia barzo, tush the brego. Always happy to pick up some more engine parts. No chopper gas tank today, unfortunately. But we did get a chopper wheel. And like I'm saying, this is a source of chopper parts. Which is, again, a really nifty thing about the role that the farm does play. And why it's definitely a bit underappreciated. I guess the reason we don't often come here is because our dog pen is full of dogs. We already got all the chopper parts in the universe that we need. And, well, every melee weapon mod that we would want, we already have. So the, so, so the chopper is not the best for uh, us in our current situation but i'm not gonna lie it's always fun to stop on by every once in a while murder some firm zombies uh bjorn bjorn i don't know where bjorn the corn is however it looks like he might be at a different farm this is not a corn farm by the looks of it instead it is and uh, i don't really know what type of farm I did, there's just bulls that's all that i see and hey it's a hay farm Oh, dude, I wish I could repair this tractor, dude. I would definitely be driving a tractor around instead, man. I don't care if it didn't have any storage. Just let me drive a tractor around, dog. Is that so much to ask? Yes, no, maybe so. Okay, okay, well, that's a very big wheel you got there, son of Jimba, to say the least. But I think with that farm being nice and cleared up, that's actually a good point for us to go ahead and start ending off this episode of Last Day on Earth Survival. So with that said, with that done, let's go ahead and start wrapping it up. Oh, me for now. Hey! Thank you guys a whole time for watching. Have yourselves an awesome one. And I'll talk to you next one. See ya.